Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to speed up your TouchWiz device. So this is applicable to a range of Samsung devices including the Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy Note 2, S3 and S4. So I'm going to be using a Galaxy S4 in this video. So generally lag has been associated with TouchWiz for quite a while now. While with newer devices like the Note 3 it has been reduced a lot, you can still notice it once in a while. These are just some quick simple fixes for you and you don't need to be rooted for this. So the first thing you do is go into settings and about device, go to your build number, tap it seven, tap it seven times, that will unlock developer mode. Now go into developer options and now you'll have window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. You can turn these off or put them at 0.5x. So this is the speed of the transition so this kind of makes everything feel a little faster another issue that we generally face is with regards to the home button lag so to eliminate that double tap the home button I can't find a connection. that takes Please you to that opens up s voice go into settings and now uncheck open via the home key so enough you, you will find your home key to be a lot more responsive Another common issue that we notice is uh, when we turn our phones on after it's been in standby for quite a while, there is a little bit of a delay. So I've just been using my phone, so it was instantaneous enough. So to get around it, just go into settings. Again, this might not be, you know, you might not want to do this because what I'm going to basically ask you to do is turn off the li uh, light effect. M make the unlock, eff unlock effect as none. So now the response will be a lot faster but you will be losing the uh, light effect or ripple effect whatever you have on your phone and if you already have a passcode uh, or a pattern unlock it wouldn't be applicable to you all right the next step here is generally when you get the galaxy s4 or note 3 the default home screens have a lot of widgets in them and some widgets like say the samsung hub widget not a lot of people really use it so what i'd suggest is just remove all pages and set up what you want just keep it simple and uh, the more widgets on screen the more resources it takes leaving less for active tasks so uh, just make sure that you remove everything if not everything whatever widgets you, you think you might not use uh, make sure you remove that and you should notice a decent difference in your usage I'm not asking you to make your phone look the way mine does right now obviously not just make sure you use only the widgets you want all right going past that the next step here is go into my your device and turn off any kind of motions or gestures uh the smart screen uh, options like smart stay smart pause smart scroll or air view that you generally don't use all right so if you don't use it make sure you turn it off and also uh, also make sure you turn off multi window if you don't use that and the reason is self explanatory obviously just the lesser amount of stuff running in the background uh, the faster your device is so these are just a few tips that I've come to know over a period of time of using various Samsung Galaxy devices so hope you guys find this useful if you follow this tutorial let me know what kind of results you get uh, does your phone feel faster snappier let me know your thoughts in the comments below so that's pretty much it guys for this quick little video and a few tips on how to speed up your Samsung Galaxy device. So if you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And to stay updated on the latest in tech, make sure you check out our partners at omegadroid.co. You can also find all my videos there. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.